Hi guys, it's Jamila here from Slap. Today I'm going to be doing a video on my five favourite products from my five favourite brands. I got the idea for this video from Michelle Wang, whose channel I am subscribed to. I really like her videos. She does. She tends to do like luxury high-end products and we tend to like a lot of the same things. She did a video called my five favourite products for my five favourite brands. I felt like I would definitely give it a go. So I'm going to be doing that for you guys today. I'm just going to get into it. But if you haven't subscribed already, guys, please subscribe. We would love to have you in the Slap family. And without further ado, guys, here is the... So guys, first up is one of my favorite brands. This is the brand that I found it the hardest to pick what my favorite products were. They're not in my good books at the moment because she did, this is Charlotte Tilbury, she did just release a total look in a palette or whatever it is, those full palettes of eyes, face, cheeks, lips, everything but she didn't release it in a deep skin tone and I'm really disappointed because obviously she's been doing so well last year. She released her bronzers which are inclusive, she extended her flawless filter range and I just was thinking she was really on the right path but her latest release shows me that there is still a lot of work to be done and I am very disappointed in her as a brand and just as a makeup artist who, you know, has lots of friends from all over the world, I would expect more. But unfortunately, she didn't release this in a shade for me or anyone, my skin tone or deeper. So I'm really sad about that. But I do still have a lot of her products and she is still one of my favorite brands. I feel a bit icky putting her in my favorite brands just because of her last release. But... I can't deny that her products are some of the products I reach for the most. I'm going to include her. First up it is Charlotte Tilbury. I found Charlotte Tilbury the hardest brand for me to pick what my favourite five favourite products were. I really do like a lot of her products. I like her brand. Just a bit disappointing that her inclusion and inclusivity is very unreliable and temperamental and kind of sometime-ish, which isn't great. But without getting too into it and just going on a rant, I'm just going to get into it. So first up it is Charlotte Tilbury. As you guys know, I love Charlotte Tilbury's brand. I love a lot of her products. I've got so many. I accidentally used six, but yeah, sorry. <laughs> um, awkward. But these are my top six, five slash, five slash six products. There were definitely more I wanted to include and I couldn't, such as her concealers, her foundations, her lip gloss, uh, her eyeshadow quads didn't even make it into my top five, which is bizarre because I use them pretty much all the time. But these are the ones that I just reach for the most. So first up is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. This product I haven't actually been reaching for very much recently because I haven't really been going out. I've only been really doing my makeup for videos, for filming, so I haven't been using it, but it is my favorite product. I had this in the mini size and I ran out with the mini size. I bought the bigger one. So good, such a good setting spray. Really makes your makeup last. It smells really nice. It's very lightweight on the skin. It's just really nice, beautiful packaging and just my favorite setting spray. If I had to pick one setting spray I could use for the rest of my life, it would be this one. So that's the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Next up is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer. I wasn't gonna include this and then I realized I needed it and I really wanted to use it. I got this in the shade for deep. There's something about this shade that is just so nice. It's very neutral, it's not too warm, it's not too red, it's not too cool. It's just the perfect shade, I really like it. I also like the way it bronzes my skin. It's slightly more matte than other bronzers I have, but it's not flat, it's just really nice and perfecting. Definitely probably my favorite, definitely probably, definitely my favorite bronzer for like sculpting and bronzing. I do have other ones for like warming, but this is my favorite for like sculpting my face and just looking bronzed and chill and chic. So yeah, this is the airbrush bronzer. It is also refillable. I don't know if I'm ever gonna get through this, so I need to refill it, but perhaps. I know a lot of people have, so I know it's possible. Next up, it's one of my favorite blushes. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Cheek to Chic Blusher in the shade Pillow Talk Intense. Such a nice blusher. I just love how warming it is on my skin. It's just really, really flattering for my skin tone. I've got a few other of her blushes, but this shade is my favorite.
Next up is the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Brows. I use this every day on my brows. It's such a nice product. It's got such a skinny, skinny wand. And when I first bought it, I didn't think I'd like it, but it's the one I reach for the most. I think it does such a good job. I got this in the shade Supermodel, which no longer exists, but it is a kind of brownish black. And it's really good at kind of neutralize, it's really good at neutralizing like my, my brows are too black. It just kind of brings them back down to life a little bit and makes them look a bit normal. It doesn't hold them in place a huge amount, but it just is such a nice product and it's my favorite brow product that she does. So I would recommend this one if you were to try any of the three. But if you have curly eyebrows like me, just know it's not gonna really keep them up but it is gonna kind of comb through them and groom them and give them a really nice tint. Something that slipped in, this is the Beauty Like Wand. Some of you may know this from Madison Beer. She did a tutorial when she used it and she kind of made this, this product go viral. It's such a great product. It's such a good color as well. This is in the shade two medium in the shade Pillow Talk. And it is quite a nice rose gold highlighter. It just warms my skin whilst giving it a glow. It's quite close to my skin tone, so it's not too like garish. It's quite subtle and it's kind of rosy and nice. So it's a bit more flattering than a gold sometimes is. So I really like this. I don't love the applicator. It's kind of a mess, but such a good product, such a good shade. Last but not least, my favourite Charlotte Tilbury products ever, 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 ever are the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat Lip Pencils. My favourite shade, as you guys know, and you can tell by the length. It is the Pillow Talk Intense Lip Liner. I wear this pretty much every day. It's my favourite shade. My second favourite shade is the Iconic Nude, which I use a lot to uh, ombre my lips. And when I want to be more chill and low-key and under the radar, I use the shade Foxy Brown. But hands down, my favourite is the Pillow Talk Intense. So next up, my second favorite brand, and these are in no order of importance. These are just the ones I grabbed first. But my second favorite is Dior. And if three years ago you told me that Dior would be one of my favorite brands, I would never have believed you. They weren't very inclusive. They didn't really have a lot of shades for anyone. The only thing I really liked from them was their blushes and their mascaras, and that was about it. But recently, since the launch of their Dior Backstage range, they've just really upped their game a lot. Not in everything. There are still a lot of things that they're a bit old school Dior about but for the most part they have kind of stepped up a lot and I've got five products that I absolutely love from them and five of some of my favorite products as well. First up is the Dior Face and Body Foundation. This is actually the foundation I have on today. It's such a nice foundation. I've got this in the shades 6W and 5W. 5W is the one I'm wearing today. It is my regular shade and 6W is my summer shade. I've actually repurchased 5W already and 6W I'm pretty much at the end I think after this summer it will be done but it's such a nice foundation it's super lightweight it blends into the skin really nicely it feels like not much on and the bottle's squeezy and easy I really love this such a good foundation so so nice if you'd like something that's buildable and doesn't feel too heavy and cloying on your skin Next up is potentially my favorite concealer. It's definitely my top two favorite concealers. This is the Dior Forever Skin Correct Concealer. I've got this in the shade 5N and I've been waiting for it to finish. It's almost done. I've got that much left. 
So once this is done, I'm going to try it in the shade 4N just to see what it's like because this is kind of my skin tone, slightly deeper than my skin tone in winter. But it's because it's got a neutral undertone, it's quite good for my dark circles. But I really, really love this concealer. It's got a really nice stretch to it. It's It's got good coverage, but it doesn't look like thick or heavy. It's just so, so lovely on the skin. It's such a nice, long-lasting concealer. Next up is a lip product that you guys see me wear a lot of the time. This is the Dior Ultra Care Liquid Lipstick in the shade 736. I got this randomly when I was just in boots and I really wanted a new product. I didn't really know what I wanted. I was actually looking for a brown. It was when I was going through a brown phase and I bought this and it just brought me out of that brown phase. It made me start to go for mauves and nudes and lighter shades. So I love this. Second to last is the Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette. I got this in the shade 005 Copper Gold. This was a limited edition palette, but it is still available in the UK at Dior.com. I checked the US site and it's not there anymore, but it is still available in the UK. So if you do want it, I would definitely recommend it. It's such a nice rosy gold highlight. It's quite glittery, but it does go on with like a sheen to it. So it's really, really nice, really flattering. Last but not least, a new entry is the Dior Backstage Face and Body Powder. I originally bought it in 6N. I actually loved it so much I bought it in the shade 5N. Turned out they're basically the same shade and I did a review comparing them in my Dior Lip Balm video which I'll link down below but I really love this powder. It's so so nice. It feels like nothing on. It looks like nothing on. The only thing I would say about this is it has started to hard pan. It's not really picking up product in the same way it was when I first use it. Whenever anything's hard panning the best thing to do is put a bit of tape on top of it and it just takes away the top layer. So I'm going to try that with this and hope that it will revive them but it's happened to both of my palettes. I know it's happened to a few other people as well so I do really love this product. It's literally my favourite powder. I'm hoping that it, it can be resuscitated and revived because I'd be really disappointed because I've just bought two. So next up, my third favourite top five beauty brands in no particular order is Pat McGrath. As you guys know, I'm a huge fan of Pat McGrath. I love everything that she does. I love all of her eyeshadow palettes, her lipsticks, her lip liners. I don't think Pat McGrath has ever released a bad product that I know of. She is literally the queen of makeup and one of my favourite brands. I also find it really hard for Pat McGrath to pick my favourite. And there were two things that I left out that a lot of people would never leave out, like her lipsticks and her concealer. Such a great concealer, but it's not my favourite. My favourite things from Pat McGrath are, some of them are really random and things that not necessarily you would go to Pat McGrath for, but they are my favourite and they're the things I repurchase the most. So first up is the Pat McGrath Liquid Eyeliner. This is Perma Precision Liquid Eyeliner. It's got such a thin tip at the end that it just makes it really easy to go to the lash line. It makes it really easy to wing out. And literally I haven't used or wanted to use or felt the need to use anything else since. I bought this and repurchased it again. If you are going to get any liquid eyeliner, get this one.
Second up is the Pat McGrath Labs foundation. I have this in the shade MD26. It's so lightweight, it's so buildable. The packaging of, of this is absolutely stunning. It's so luxe and it's so unique and different. It's just super cool. It's also really clever because it's got like grooves where you want to lift it up and it's got like a really nice frosted glass bottle. Her shade range in this is phenomenal. There are 36 shade, I, shades and I'm 26, so there are 10 shades after me. I love it, it's so buildable, it's such a nice product for every skin type, every skin tone. I think it's really great for people who don't like a lot of makeup, but also for people who do like a lot of makeup, it does build up, especially when paired with her concealer as well, so I absolutely love this product, I think it's one of the best foundations around. Third on my list, and probably favourite of my list, is the Pat McGrath Labs Mothership eyeshadow palettes. They are the best eyeshadow palettes I think in the world ever made, ever created. They're so innovative, so creative, so different. Such good colour stories, such good formulations that she was doing before anyone else was doing. Natasha Denona also is fantastic, but I haven't tried as much of her stuff yet. So for me, for now, it is all about Pat McGrath. I love all of her palettes. I've only got four, so I've got Mothership 5, 6, 7 and 8. My favourite of them is probably Mothership 5 in terms of like the best. But two of my favourites that no one really talks about or really gives the love are Mothership 7, which is this kind of nudish one, which I have on my eyes today. It's very delicate and it started the entire Divine Rose collection that just came and kept growing and growing and growing and growing. But this is such a beautiful palette. The other Mothership palette that I really love, and to be honest, I don't use that much, but whenever I need certain shades, this one is such a good palette. This is Mothership 6. So next up on my list of Pat McGrath favourite things, these are the Pat McGrath mascaras. The original was the Fetishized Mascara, which was my favourite mascara, and the one I was like, nothing's going to beat this, nothing's going to beat this and then Dark Star Mascara came out. So yeah, it's kind of random. I really didn't think I would find a replacement for this, and I really love it. It just gives me really long lashes. It makes my lashes look so much longer than they genuinely are. Both of these are really great, so depending on what you want, I'd say that the Fetishize is probably more volumizing, and the Dark Star is definitely more lengthening and more like impactful. So they're both great. I love the packaging of the Dark Star probably more. They do have very different brushes. This is the Fetishize very short and stubby. It's very even, so it gives you like a really even lash. Whereas the Dark Star one is much more of an hourglass, full fat lash vibe. And they're all different lengths, so it really does grab onto a lot of those smaller lashes. Last up on my list of favourite Pat McGrath things is the Lust Lip Glosses. They are one of my favourite lip glosses. They have such a good applicator. They just go on top of everything. They're not sticky. Just really nice, comfortable to wear gloss. And they come in such an array of shades and finishes and whatever you're looking for, she has definitely created a shade. I've got this in the shade Flesh Fantasy and I've also got this in the shade Flesh 4. The fourth of my favourite brands, not in any order, <laughs> I don't know why I keep saying that, is Victoria Beckham Beauty. I was not expecting it to be Victoria Beckham Beauty. I thought it was going to be Tom Ford, but then I was, as I was picking out the products for the Tom Ford one, I just felt like not all of these products are my favourite products and there are more in the Victoria Beckham brand that I have that I like than in the Tom Ford one. So I decided to go for VB, who knew? I just love Victoria Beckham. I love her packaging. It's so sleek, it's so black, it's so cool. It's so tortoise shell inspired and it's really nice, heavyweight, glassy, luxurious loveliness. So my first favorite product from the Victoria brand, Victoria brand, is the Lid Luster. I've got this in the shade Mink and I've also got it in the shade Tea Rose. This is Mink. Sadly, Tea Rose broke literally the minute after I finished filming. The Lid Lusters are such fantastic products. What I normally do is to put like an eyeshadow primer on or a brown eyeshadow base and I just top it with this and they just give my eyes such a great sheen and sparkle and lift. I love the packaging of these as well. They come in a glass package with a tortoiseshell lid and I just love her branding full stop. It's just so great. So Mink,
Next on my list is the Victoria Beckham Future Lash Mascara. This is really new from Victoria Beckham. I love this mascara. It's a very lightweight, chilled mascara if you want just natural looking lashes and you don't want anything too out there, but you want a nice lift. Next up is my favorite, one of my favorite products. This is the Posh Lipstick. I have this in the shade Posh Pose. It's like a mauve creamy, hydrating lipstick. And I feature this in pretty much wherever I can. I love this so much. It looks quite sheer. It looks quite natural on, but it's really, really nice. And it's moisturizing and hydrating. And I just love it. Next up is the Victoria Beckham Eye Pencil in the shade Brown. I've got this in the shade Black and Brown. I do tend to go for the brown one more. I don't actually wear black eyeliner as much as I used to, but when I do, it's such a nice, creamy, creamy eyeliner. It's really nice and soft. I like it in brown because it's really good for blending out. If you've got, like, if you're trying to do an eye look and you want to blend out the the eyeliner then this is a really good eyeliner for doing that because it's so soft and malleable and it also has a little smudger on the other end as well and last on my list of favorite victoria beckham beauty products is the bitten lip tint i've actually got this on amongst other things on my lip today and i really like this it's got like a gel consistency it's like a silky gel consistency but it does tint the lips it doesn't last for ages and it does have a slight sweet taste to it which you may or may not like but it does tint the lips i love the packaging it's really nice and i'm going to be doing a video very soon on like lip balms and lip tints because there are so many coming out and this is definitely a great one but very differently packaged to everything else so if you do like victoria beckham's packaging then this could be a really nice one to go for So last up on my list of favorite beauty brands is Gucci. Came out of nowhere this time last year. I didn't really have any Gucci products. Gucci had literally launched with these amazing inclusive beauty products. The powder is probably the least inclusive thing they've done. And I did actually return my powder just because the one I had had a mark on it. But everything else I've bought from Gucci since has been amazing. And I love everything I've got from Gucci. It's just it's really becoming one of my favorite brands. So, so nice. I don't know who is behind this. But whoever is behind it is actually a genius and has created some fantastic products. They also just look so cool. They look so different. They've got like a kind of modern, vintage, glamorous vibe to them. And they're just so good. They've also got a lot of skincare benefits as well, which you wouldn't really expect from like a high fashion makeup brand. First up is one of my favorite products of this year. It is the Gucci Fluid de Beauté Fini Naturel Foundation. This is such a nice foundation. It does dry super matte, but it's very, very lightweight. It feels like nothing on, but it has like a matte medium coverage feel. I really love this. I also love the packaging. Next up is something I bought recently and I love it. I've been reaching for it pretty much every day. This is the Gucci Rouge de Beauté Brillant Lipstick in the shade 204 Peggy Taupe. One of my favorite lip products of the year. Such a nice slimline lipstick. Comes in a really nice taupey shade. It's very sheer. It doesn't last very long, but it's so beautiful and so comfortable to wear. The packaging is so, so cute as well. So it's just a whole great experience. I love it. You do have to use it. You have to top it up throughout the day. So it's something you kind of have to keep close. It kind of reminds me a lot of the Victoria Beckham Posh lipstick. They're both very similar. So if you've got one, you might not need the other, but they're both very, very good.
Next up is the Gucci Mascara. This is the Lubscure Mascara. This was like the second thing I tried from Gucci. When I tried it, it wasn't my fave. I felt like it was a lengthening mascara. It was quite chill, it didn't really do anything special but i actually do really love this mascara i've been using it a lot recently it's been something i've been reaching for a lot it's also something i wear under the pat mcgrath one a lot not that i need it under the pat mcgrath one but i just can't choose between the two of them at the moment this has a very different brush to the pat mcgrath one it has a synthetic brush and the packaging of this is so beautiful it's so pretty it's got like a nice metal lid and then it's got like a little pink bottle really good everyday mascara if you don't want something as OTT as a dark star one, but you do still want something on your on your lashes. It gives really good length and it definitely does give a little bit of volume as well. So I really, really like this mascara. It's become my second favorite mascara to Pat McGrath, so who knew? last on my list is the gucci bronzer one of my favorite bronzers this is the gucci powder de beauté eclat soleil 05 bronzing powder i love this bronzer so much the packaging of this like everything gucci is so nice it's got that vintage vibe it also comes with a brush and the aqua blue color is really nice in summer it's very summery it makes you think of the beach and the sea this is a very warm red shade it's a lot warmer than the charlotte tilbury one it also gives much more of a glow it just looks a lot more warming and rosy and when i wear this i don't really need to wear a blush but it's a really nice really nice product really nice shade really nice packaging it does have a lot of scent a lot of the gucci products do have a fragrance to them which is tends to be floral one of my favorite bronzers and i can't wait to go on holiday so i can use this So guys, that is it. Those are my top five products from my top five brands. I hope you found it helpful. I hope you found it interesting. Sorry if I rushed through. I felt like I was speaking at a thousand miles a minute, but I felt like there were a lot of products to try. So I wanted to just not make it too long a video, but hopefully you liked that. Hopefully you found it interesting. Let me know what your favorite brands and products are. If there are any products you feel like I've missed. I'm sure there are. There are definitely a few that I felt like I'd missed, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please subscribe. We would love to have you in the slap family thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you on the next one